have two Sato engines here. Obviously this one is my Sato FA40 open rocker engine and this is one of my Sato FA45 engines. Now the reason they're both sitting here is that this is the donor engine for this carb body. This is the engine that I had taken this carb body off when I first got this engine and determined that the original carb on it wasn't properly designed or functioning or whatever. So this was the donor engine. Uh, this now carb body is still from this engine that's on here but it does have the stock barrel that came with this engine on here. So it's kind of a, a hodgepodge right now. But this isn't the engine I want to talk about. This is an engine that I bought back in early in the year, I think it was early March, off of eBay. And I think I put a couple of videos together of reassembling this engine, but I never really published the, the videos of the initial look inside and tearing it down. And I also found that it doesn't look like I've got any videos published of this engine operating. So what I decided to do yesterday was I had that carb body from an FA30 engine that a friend of mine in Melbourne sent me that I was going to try in the open rocker engine and any of you that follow me regularly will know that I put that carb body on this 40 FS40 open rocker or not FS FA40 open rocker engine and I didn't have very good results on that one instance that one day so it kind of soured me to that carb body for whatever reason so I went back yesterday and put this car body from this engine back on that and ran several videos and it runs great. So anyway, so I've got this engine now that's sitting here that didn't have a carb on it and all I've got is two carb bodies. The FA30 carb body that I had experimented with on the open rocker engine and then the original stock body that came with the open rocker engine that was worthless. So I figured what the hell I'm gonna just try the FA30 carb body on this engine. I put it this engine stock carb barrel into that carb body because dimensionally they were the same. So I've got an APC 11.6 prop strapped to this thing. I want to go out and give this thing a run and see how it operates with this FA30 carb body. And it's also sporting an Inion number three plug. So let's go out th outside and give this thing a run and see how it does.
Well, this is one of my Sato FA45 engines, as you can see by the side here. This is an engine that I purchased back in early March of this year from eBay. Um, I don't really have too many run videos of it. I've got one or two, but I don't think I ever really posted them. Uh, this is uh, an engine that actually dates back to 1988 is when it was purchased. Uh, the paperwork, the purchase paperwork that came with it when I bought this engine dated it to 1988, which is interesting. Uh, what's most interesting about this is, is this is actually the engine that I stole the carb from to put on my FA40 open rocker engine. And the carburetor body that is on this engine right now, which is the purpose of me running this engine today, is actually the carb body I bought from a friend of mine, Marco, in Australia, which is the carb body for an FA30 Mark II engine, or Mark I engine. This is the carb body that I initially installed on my open rocker engine that I didn't have very good results with, and now I'm wondering if it was just the happened to be one of those days where things just didn't work out right, if there was a leak or what, but so what I decided instead of trying it on that engine again, since I had that engine running so well with the carb body from this engine, I was like, I figured, well, what the hell, I'll just put this carb body on this one. Now, it's got the same barrel. This is the stock barrel that came with this engine, but the carb body is the FA-30. And lo and behold, it runs like a champ, so this carb body has now found a new permanent home and it's going to stay on this engine. So... Marco, still a good purchase, great carb body, works well. As you can see, this engine was turning well over 9,000 RPM. This thing already turned off. It was turning about 9,300 RPM. So, uh, to the specifics, this is Morgan's 10% Omega with added caster, and I'm turning an APC 11.6 prop, same 11.6 prop, well, the same size and pitch that I had on my open rocker engine. And... This engine runs beautifully with it, so uh, I don't know what more there is to say about it other than thank you for watching.